Hi there, it's Ashley. I'm just going to do a really quick get ready with me video. I woke up this morning to check my email and Ulta is having an amazing sale and there are definitely things that I need from Ulta. So I am going to go see what I can get myself into. So I've just started out with my moisturizer. I will tell you guys, I am determined this time to go buy a new foundation. Um, and I'm kind of torn between a few, so we'll see what I end up with. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to go with my, my normal mix of these L'Oreal's that I just can't stand. Um, but to start off with, because I'm having some kind of crazy breakouts at the moment, um, I'm just going to take my, there you go, my concealer palette. Um, and just do a little bit of under foundation coverage just because they're that bad at the moment. So cover these up. My face seems to get better and then it gets worse and it gets better and it never just clears up. But I am seeing a difference since starting to use the Glam Glow, which is a good sign. Okay, so I'm going to mix my L'Oreal True Match. Get a couple dots all over my face. It's time for me to buy a new beauty blender as well, because I've just washed it one too many times and the sponge is kind of getting tired of being washed. And then I'm going to take my Lumi True Match. I don't know, can you see on my sponge? It's kind of gross, but you can see it's starting to tear a little bit. It's like, no more, I'm done. Sorry, that was really cheesy. All right, gonna do a couple dots there. And start to do my blending. I don't know, has anybody switched to the beauty blender and then gone back to using like a stippling brush or something to apply their foundation? Because I keep considering going back to my stippling just because I spent so much money on the dang brush from MAC. Um, but I just feel like nothing beats using the sponge. And I'm not talking about like the sponge from the 90s when we used to have to like buy all the wedges and then like tear them apart and they used to get absolutely disgusting. And maybe this one does too and you just can't see it because it's pink, which is a good design. But I hated using those sponges. Alright, so now that that's on, it's time to actually do a little bit of coverage with concealer. And I kind of just use a combination of a couple colors to match my skin at the moment. Um, it all depends. Oop, there's some hair. Hopefully this won't take me too long today. It's just really quick, nothing fancy. I've got some craziness going on over here in the hairline. How do you guys deal with the oils in your hairline? I find it rather challenging. I find that sometimes the um, dry shampoo just makes it worse. But, okay. So now that that, oh, duh. Hello. I do this every morning. I put up my concealer palette, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot I have to do some contour. So I just pick up a really dark color from my palette. And then go back using my sponge and just do some blending. It's kind of the beauty of using the cream is that you can always do a little bit more or if you did too much you can just go back over with your foundation and cover it up. Hmm? Hmm? a little bit. That one there is just a blemish that will not go away for the life of me. Okay, and then I just like to, I don't know if it's just for my own peace of mind, but I always still go back over with my contouring 
um, my mineral powder from Mary Kay that's in a darker shade and I use my Real Techniques brush the rounded edge one or whatever you want to call it and just do some really quick brush strokes so that's done and then my blush, which I think I might buy a new blush today as well, because I'm kind of getting tired of the pink one that I have. And I hate this brush. This brush is from Mary Kay, and I feel like it's so rough, it scratches my skin every time I use it. So I might buy a new one of those too. Then, just for a little bit of highlight, using my Shimmer Brick with Bobbi Brown. Nothing too focused. It doesn't really matter. I'm just running some errands today. Now that that part is done, where is my primer? I'm going to use my eye primer. Ugh, my hair. Use my eye primer that um, I got in the kit from Lorac. Just put a tiny little bit of that on your finger. And then work it into your eyelids very gently. Okay, now that that's done, oh, I forgot my concealer, my under eye concealer. I'm using the NYX uh, HD Photogenic Concealer in CW06. Um, sometimes, just depending on the tone of my skin, I will go to the 05. It just literally depends on what day it is. And I just use the back of my sponge. This lighting is so terrible. I look blue. I promise the lighting is not blue in this room. It's probably very challenging for you to see. Maybe I'll walk over in front of the window and show you when I'm all done. Okay, so now that I've primed my eyes, I'm just going back to my usual Naked palette. And find the right brush. And I'm just going to use literally the color Naked on my, I have a mirror right here. Maybe I can move a little closer. Naked on my bottom lid. It's real simple. Then I'm going to use Buck above it. I don't know if you can see. Then I'm going to take a little bit of virgin and put it just under the brow. I feel virgin will be the first one to go out of this palette. I love that color. And I'm just going to pick up some sin and put it on the inner tear duct. Just to give it a little bit of highlight. And then if I'm feeling a little bit sassy that day, I will pick up a combination of half-baked and smog and kind of put that towards the center of my lid. Just to give a little bit of sparkle and color. I don't know if you can see. Um, and then last, I have a hair somewhere. Last but definitely not least, I will take a very, very old palette that I came across. But what I like in this particular palette is the black. This one's from e.l.f. And it, I bought it years ago. It has a ton of colors in it. None of them that I really use on a regular basis. Um, but where did my brush go? There it is. But it has this very last color on the end that is a matte black that I like to use just to add a little bit of depth. I just work it into the crease and here on the end. Just 
just like that just to give it some depth and that's all I do for my eyes and now it's time for my eyeliner which is my favorite Lorac so easy to use and it lasts forever I just feel like this is the only eyeliner that I've ever used that I actually have some control over it doesn't drip the tip always stays moist with just the right amount of product and you can go really thin with it or you can build a thicker line for a more dramatic look which is always nice for like the evening or special occasions and there you go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the gold kind of comes out now that you can see with uh, the eyeliner on final touch is just a little bit of mascara nothing too crazy just enough to add some color and straighten out those crazy lashes don't you love the face I just made it's great mascara really does make a huge difference even if that's the only thing you put on each day you kind of look a little bit more awake And what up? Um, I'm probably not going to draw on eyebrows today just because it's not necessary. But final look, very simple, very light. Can't, oh, I was going to walk in front of the window. Here, let's see. There you go. That was it. Literally 12 minutes with me talking, so take that down, and it's probably about 8 minutes. Um, just to put on a full face of makeup, very light, simple, easy, nothing too crazy over the top, ready to go out the door. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I will be able to film a Ulta haul as soon as I get back. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.